So this is a huge array. We don't even have to care about the items in it. It's just so big that we shouldn't care about it. We should do everything programmatically. So we're, built, so we're being told that we have to find the Wally in the array. So one thing that we can do is just loop the entire thing. So let's loop, let's say for i in range from zero to the length of people. And then we can say every time that I loop, if people in the position i it's equal to Wally, then probably that means that this position I want to print it. So let's see how it goes. 65 and 198. It's because I'm saying if the people in the position I. So that means if LeBron, Alaya, because remember that this is a position 0, position 1. So I'm saying people in position 0, it's equal to Wally. No. So whenever it is, it's going to be equal to Wally. I'm going to print I because that's the position that I want to print, the position when it's equal to Wally. -E. 